Uh, well, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Abhinav. And I'm Anirudh. And we're Team 42. Our project is on drivable road segmentation. Uh, well, as we all know, in recent years, there has been a rapid increase in research on autonomous vehicles. A reliable and accurate drivable area segmentation is an integral part of the workflow of autonomous vehicles. Hence, we propose implementing a deep learning model, specifically Mask RCNN, for drivable image segmentation. Uh, why Mask RCNN? Well, Mask RCNN surpasses all previous state of the art single model results on Coco instance segmentation tasks. Mask RCNNs are easy to train, and since it's difficult, and it is since uh, built on the faster RCNN framework, it also affords us the luxury of implementing various architectural designs. Uh, well, coming to our data set. We use the Berkeley Deep Drive dataset for two main reasons. One is the largest open data set for driving related images. The other being that it has driving images and corresponding driving area labels for training and validation set. The images are captured in a variety of conditions related to weather, location, and time of the day. Uh, well, this is the visualization of the BD data set. Uh, we, show, we are showing you 10 random images. Um, as you can see, there are a variety of conditions in play. Um, we create our bounding boxes from the annotated mask itself. Uh, we resize these masks to 256 cross 256. Uh, we do this so, so as to improve our computational speed. Uh, again, we only store the pixels inside the mask and resize the mask to 56 cross 56. This is done to save space and improve computational speed. Coming to our mask RCNN model, which is a mass region uh, convolution neural network, which solves instance segmentation problem. It is an extension of fast RCNN, which is used for both image and video segmentation in resource limited systems. The model backbone is a, a feature pyramid network style deep neural network. It consists of bottom up pathway and top bottom pathway and lateral connections uh, for connecting both the pathways uh, in our system. The bottom up pathway can be any convolution net, which is a ResNet or VGG, which extracts features from raw images. The top bottom pathway generates feature pyramid network, which is similar in size to bottom up pathway. This image uh, shows the architecture that we have been using, where the brown strip at the top is the ResNet, the blue is the FPN, the below architecture uh, shows the RPN and the box and mask generation systems that we have designed. Coming to the implementation, there are two stages of mask RCNN that we have to implement. First, generate proposals about regions where there might be an object based on the input image. Second, predict the class of the object, refine the bounding bo uh, box, and generate a mask and pixel level for the, uh, that, for the object that has been suggested on first stage. Both these stages are connected to the backbone structure. In stage one, RPN scans all FPN top bottom pathway and proposes regions which may contain objects. It uses anchors, which on different scales bind to different features of the map. RPN uses these anchors to figure out what feature map should get an object and what size should be the bounding box. This image shows how the anchor box is convoluted and is resembled in a feature pyramid network. As we can see, at each level, it is, uh, it, it is reduced in size and we have the larger anchor boxes as well. We, we can use this to detect object at each level in our FPN. Stage two, another neural network takes proposed regions by the first and assigns, assigns them to spe uh, several specific areas in our feature map. It generates object classes, bounding box, and mask at pixel level. It uses an ROI align to locate the relevant areas of feature map, which is just better than uh, creating an ROI standard pooling function. This re resembles how our architecture is divided into stage one and stage two, where stage one is the RPN, the ROI, and the uh, uh, ResNet and FPN. The stage two is generates the classes, the box, and masks. As you can see, each feature pyramid or each level has an alignment with the ROI, which generates a better result than pooling functions. Talking about the implementation of our model in software, the code has been implemented in Google Collaboratory, which uses TensorFlow 1.xx and uses an open source MRCNN library. The program has two configurations, train and inference. The train one generates the model and the inference one is used for evaluation over test data set. The program creates the model with training configuration and loads the weights of uh, pre-trained COCO dataset. 
The pre-trained model heads are then trained using our data set and are saved in Google Drive. The model is reopened in inference mode with our trained data sets and is used for evaluation over the test data set. We use intersection over union as an evaluation metric for our accuracy. The, it's speaking qualitatively, it represents the uh, overlap of our predicted mask over the ground truth of mask. It is calculated by the formula where we consider true positive, false positive, and false negative pixels, and is used, to, which is used for generation of our masks. Uh, uh, we implemented different models. Uh, for different models, we had different input sizes, different training images, different validation images, different epochs, etc. Uh, our choice was best based on the average IOU metric. Um, the two main observations we can take away from this is um, as we increase the number of epochs, our training loss and validation loss seems to go down. And as we incre increase the number of training images and validation images, our IOU metric goes up. Uh, our best performing model was the fourth model, which had a configuration of 256 plus 256. It had 330K training images. 5k validation images with 60 epochs. Uh, these were our results. Um, uh, now comes the IO, IOU metric. Uh, as you can see that our average IO, IOU metric was about 0.62. What is interesting about this uh, model is that it has, it shows about 49 images, which has an IOU metric of zero. Uh, well, these can mean two things. One, that the image itself has no drivable area. That means no ground truth itself. And the detection also says that there is none. Uh, this happens for over seven images. Uh, what about the rest of them? Well, we decided to investigate. Uh, while investigating, we saw that there were some problems with the ground truth. Like for example, these two images, uh, they clearly have drivable areas inside, but the annotations were incorrect. Um, these are some examples. Uh, the reasons where we find that our model struggled a lot was when there's an occlusion on the windshield. Or the other thing was that it was considerably always saying that the pavements was drivable area. I think this was due to the lack of uh, pavements in our driving, uh, in our image, image data set. Uh, also uh, uh, roads that were not allowed to be drived upon, but still, uh, but still look like roads. So those were other issues where we had problems. Uh, these are two images where we had a um, great IOU metric. Um, our model specifically did really well uh, while compared to other uh, models in night time um, concluding our project we concluded that we are we have fully implemented uh, a mask rcnn which generates qualitative mask for drivable road in image instances we have also achieved an accuracy based on iuu of 62 percent in a limited resource system the architecture performs better than our benchmark of convolution neural networks in terms of semantic rigidity for various input sizes flexibility of architecture testing and execution time in limited resource system by the use of FPN based structure and ROI aligned instead of standard pooling functions of a CNN. Thank you. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoy our project.